And uh, currently we're going through Pools C. So this is uh, Nianchi Sagat, Simichi, I guess, with Hakan. The first Hakan we're going to see on stream. Uh, Hakan, I think, does all right in this match. I, I talked with some Sagats about it recently. They, they expressed some concerns uh, about playing against Hakan. But um, you know, certainly it's not it's not an easy matchup for Hakan. He has he's gonna he's gonna probably take a lot of life, uh, you know, in trying to oil up from things uh, across the screen. Okay, nice pressure. Oh no, accident let go of that a little too early. Right. And now no more oil. I really like that Nianchi tried to follow up there. You can't let Hakan get away because he's gonna do that. And even though he got hit, it's much more important for him to have oil than to have that 50 life. Yep. Nianchi doing a great job pressuring him. Basically not letting him have a chance to take advantage of that oil, but you have to be careful because of those focus dash cancel tricks that he has. Okay, slide. Goes to a splash, will he oil? No, sets up. Oh, nice, he knew that there was gonna be a delayed wake up, genius. Oh, went for the meaty towards Fierce. Not gonna do it for him though. Good wake up by Nyanshi. Right. Perfect example of the reversals, the wake up attack beating the meaty. Oh yeah. So, Tiger is a huge part of this matchup for Sagat because Hakan's going to be walking around doing lots of focuses and uh, you know he'll, he'll get right through the Tiger shot but not through Tiger Knee. So he, from this range already Sagat's worried about Hakan because at any point there could be a focus dash through, it could be a toward roundhouse, lots of stuff. Now is he going to oil up or try to go in? Yeah, he's tried to go in after every STD. Ooh, that's an ultra one punish. Didn't get it. All right, got the knockdown, but he's not going to... Oh, is oh, he standing? Yeah, he just got him on the ground. It's like Nyanchi just forgot that he had that option. Very nice. Boom. There we go. So this is uh, winner's semifinals. Trying to get into, into winner's finals of the pool. Again, that sweep. Oh, he gets a crumple. Forgot, accidentally didn't dash cancel, so he just went straight into Again? the Again? Oh, I don't like him going for the same setup. And you know, he wants, oh wow, that was really solid. Oh, looking oh, for, yeah. getting a little ahead of himself. That was a, a prediction, not a reaction. Yep. Oh yeah, you can't focus that. Oh, I like the backdash. Very smart by, by Nyanchi. He knows that that's Ultra One punishable. Command grab punishable also. Oh, Nyanchi went for that frame trap. Didn't quite get it, but that EX Tiger Knee is going to give him, put him basically right at the point there of taking this. Yeah, and then just gets the chip. All right, so Nyanchi taking game one. Let's see what symmetry can pull off here. Let's see if they make any adjustments. That's not going to do it right there. Oh no, he went, just went for the focus. You got to dash cancel low short. Exactly right, yeah. Because you can take advantage of the, the, the landing delays. Well, I feel like Symmetry is starting to get a little bit too uh, insistent on some of his options uh, rather than really trying to switch things up. Will he do the stunt? Yeah, he did the stance wrong again. At least he didn't do the 360 kick. Oh, yeah. that's the problem with the con right there. Not a lot of far range jump attacks. Okay. okay. Good stuff. Easy on reaction. Oh, wow. Okay, it worked this time. But he takes a big risk in doing that twice. Oh, oh again. He's just trying to make a read instead of uh, reacting to the jump. And look at this. Nianchi now. And you know he wants slide. Ooh, that could have been EX slide. Oh, oh, and then the EX Tiger Knee, yep. Smartly done. All right, so Nianchi now at match point. Let's keep it up. I really want him to hold focus as he's going in a little bit more than he has. That sliding focus Hakan has, he can dash cancel at any time. Interesting, he just dashed right up to his face and went for oil. Not sure if he did that on purpose. 
Okay, knock down, not gonna, he's just gonna let the oil rock. He was looking for a classic 360 kick setup there, but saw the lead wake up in time. All right. Let's see what he gets now. Oh! Oh, empty jump, nothing, and Nianchi just throws him out of it. Trying to stack some of that oil. Oh, again, that EX Tiger knee. Oh! oh what? He tried to do. And he actually went for slide. I looked at Nianchi's face when he got hit by the slide. Uh, he had, oh man, he right, was not right. happy about it. I think he didn't expect that would actually come. Yeah, he went for a Kara Tiger Knee, a Tiger Uppercut to chip him out. And he actually did a wake up SBD, which caught him out of that Kara Tiger Knee, which set him up for that chip damage finish. That's a range that I really feel like Akan does well at against Sagat, but Nianchi's been varying his fireball timings and Simichi hasn't really been taking advantage of it. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it doesn't like look that. like it's working out right now. Okay, he's got a knockdown. Oh, oh no, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bold jujitsu to go, try to go for that cross up, but it just didn't work. Alright, let's see who we have coming up next.